If you think Wakanda was just a fiction movie and can never occur in real life, then wait, as this is about to change for the first time in history after the launch of the Wakanda City of Return project in Ghana. The Wakanda City of Return project has been officially launched in Ghana, and the project is expected to be a legacy of Ghana government's year of return and beyond the return tourism initiatives. Officials of Ghana and the city of Cape Coast has signed a memorandum of understanding with the African Diaspora Development Institute, ADI, and two local companies to pave way for the creation of an ultra-modern smart city to be known as the Wakanda City of Return. The partners for the multi-billion project desire to create a place of pilgrimage for the people of African descent, as well as other tourists to know about the history, culture, the civilization of Africa, and its role in the creation of the new world economy. The ultra-modern edifice modeled around the architecture of the Wakanda city as exhibited in the famous Black Panther movie is expected to attract many across the globe to Ghana. It will also be a center for teaching the history of the black race. The building of the city is in line with the many tourist sites in the region which attract a lot of foreigners. The city of Cape Coast in Ghana's central region is widely known as the nation's tourism hub and the Mecca for African descent in the diaspora. Every year, thousands of black people across the world visit the city and other historic slave sites to learn about the transatlantic slave trade. The region was the hotbed of the slave trade that saw millions of Africans uprooted to the New World. The coastal region has a number of castles and dungeons that were used to keep enslaved men and women for days before they were transported to the Americas to work on various plantations. The Wakanda City of Return is set to change the coastlines of Cape Coast with the construction of five-star hotels, heritage walkway, retreat and health resort, conference centers, and the continental corporate headquarters of African Diaspora Development Institute. Her Excellency Ambassador Erikana Chambori Kwao, the former African Union representative to the United States and the president of African Diaspora Development Institute, praised Honorable Ernest Arthur, the mayor of Cape Coast, for his commitment in ensuring that this project comes to realization. She disclosed her readiness to mobilize funds for the construction to begin as soon as possible. Here are some of her comments for the project. My name is Ambassador Erikana Chambori Kwao. I'm the former African Union ambassador to the United States and the founder and president of African Diaspora Development Institute, an institute that was designed to be the bridge between the people of Africa in the diaspora and the African continent. We are here today to celebrate a momentous occasion, an occasion that has been called upon by our very own president, Nanado. After having declared 2019 the year of return, millions of you flocked to Ghana last year, 20, 2019, and you paid homage to our beloved continent. For those of you who are not aware that of the 80% of the slaves that left West Africa for the Americas, they were pulled into Ghana and they left Ghana through two ports. One port, was at Cape Coast, they called them castles, we call them dungeons. Those who went to North America, they were pulled around the Cape Coast area. And those who were taken to the Caribbean and South America were, pulled, were pulled at the Elmina dungeons. President Anado felt very strongly that in order for us to complete the journey of healing, let's have a follow-up city follow up to the year of return, which was 2019, a place that we can say the children of Africa, descendants of the formerly enslaved, can complete the journey of coming back home. Let us look at the slavers and those who have sought to oppress the Africans and people of African descent around the globe. While they may have succeeded for over 400 years, today marks the beginning of the end where we can look at them in the face and say once again we are the victors when the descendants of the formerly enslaved can find themselves owning a home living in cape coast the very last place that their ancestors last set foot 
on the African soil, the descendants of the formerly enslaved can stand up and look across the Atlantic and say, once again, we are back home. And we are going to honor our ancestors by reminding them what that it may have taken us centuries to accomplish this mission. Finally, we can say the mission is accomplished. We are here to talk about the establishment of the Wakanda city of return in Cape Coast, starting with the very place that our ancestors were taken out of our beloved continent. We could not have found a better place and a more appropriate place to start and build the first Wakanda city of return. We are very grateful to the mayor of uh, Cape Coast who has allowed us and welcomed us as ADDI to come in and join and partner with the city as well as the country of Ghana to realize this dream. To realize a dream that, is, that should have been realized a long time ago. The return of the children of Africa, the acknowledgement of the children of Africa and giving them a home, particularly starting with Ghana, is a dream that's way past due, but nonetheless, a dream that is now being realized. I am so pleased and honored to welcome all of you to the program that's going to be unveiling what we are calling phase one of the Wakanda city of return. We're counting on all of you to, play, to pay close attention to what is going to be said today. There will be follow-up meetings monthly to update you about what is going on and the progress that we are going to be making. This is a city that must be built by the children of Africa, for the children of Africa. We are not going to go begging around the world. We are asking all of you to realize that this is the beginning of turning a new page in the history of Africa. We do not need aid. We are very wealthy people if we come together. This city is demanding that we as black people around the world, we must speak with one voice. We must come together and let the world know once again that only the children of Africa are going to take Africa back to her former glory. Only the children of Africa are going to take Africa back to where we were once the center of the world. Only the children of Africa are going to take Africa back to where we were the owners. We built the houses we lived in and we owned the brickyard. We sold the clothes we wore and we owned the textile mill. We built, the, we flew in airplanes and we built the airplanes and we owned the airport. We built the railway lines and we owned the railway line and we drove the, the, the trains. I am talking about an Africa that is in total control of her economy. That Africa is yet to be built. That Africa is demanding that no more colonization. That Africa is saying the wishes of our Pan-African fathers starting back to 1963 must be realized. Today, my brothers and sisters, we begin that journey of turning over a new leaf, of building the Africa that we want, of building a sustainable Africa for us, by us. The Wakanda city of return could not have come at a better time. Please allow me and join me in thanking President Anado for giving us this opportunity to continue the journey of healing, the journey of repatriation of our children who have been lost in the wilderness for far too long. Thank you, President Anado. Thank you, Mayor of, of uh, Cape Coast. Thank you, the King of the Kingdom of Abakase. Thank you, Nana Abakase, and everybody involved in making this event a success. We look forward to continued deliberations and we look forward to seeing you every month as we update you on the progress of this beautiful city of Wakanda. Thank you again. If you enjoyed this video and would like to get more from a definitive information about trends and mega constructions projects in Africa, subscribe to the New Africa channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos.